Howdy folks, big breaking news today on WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. He has been arrested by the British government. And they, the Department of Justice announces charges against WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange, single count of conspiracy to commit computer intrusion. I believe this is actually a good thing. Well, for one, let's go back for a second. What has he been there six or seven years? Hold up with no freedom, no sunlight. He's sick. Here they are carrying him out, resisting arrest. A lawyer for Assange told the Gateway Pundit that the arrest was really quick. Earlier today, UK police caved to pressure from the US government, entered, entered the Ecuadorian embassy in London and allowed Julian Assange to be arrested by the UK government inside the embassy. The DOJ later this morning released a statement on the charges against Julian Assange. Assange was charged with a single count of conspiracy to commit computer intrusion for agreeing to break a password to a classified U.S. government or com computer. The Department of Justice reported WikiLeaks founder charged in computer hacking conspiracy, Alexandria, Virginia. Julian P. Assange, 47, the founder of WikiLeaks, was arrested today in the United Kingdom pursuant to the U.S.-U.K. extradition treaty. Notice the U.K. Yes, and U. Excuse me, U.S. and U.K. working together on this, out of Alexandria, Virginia. In connection with a federal charge of conspiracy to commit computer intrusion for agreeing to break a password to a classified U.S. government computer, according to a court document unsealed today, the charge is related to or relates to Assange's alleged role in one of the largest compromises of classified information in the history of the United States. The indictment alleges that in March 2010, Assange engaged in a conspiracy with Chelsea Manning, a former intelligence analyst in the U.S. Army who is a Shiite, to assist Manning in cracking a password stored on U.S. Department of Defense computers connected to the secret internet protocol network, a U.S. government network used for classified documents and communications. Manning, who had access to the computers in connection with her duties as an intelligence analyst, was using the computers to download classified records to transmit to WikiLeaks. Cracking the password would have allowed Manning to log on to the computers under a username that did not belong to her. Such, but her is actually a he turned into a her. Such a deceptive measure would have made it more difficult for investigators to determine the source of the illegal disclosures. During the conspiracy, Manning and Assange engaged in real-time discussions regarding Manning's transmission of classified records to Assange. The discussion also reflect Assange actively encouraging Manning to provide more information. Uh, this is all fake allegations, I'm telling you right now. During an exchange, Manning told Assange that after this upload, that's all I really have got left, to which Assange replied, curious eyes never run dry in my experience. Assange is charged with conspiracy to commit computer intrusion and is presumed innocent unless and until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. If convicted, he faces a maximum penalty of five years in prison. Actual sentences for federal crimes are typically less than the maximum penalties. A federal district court judge will determine any sentence after taking into account the U.S. sentencing guidelines and other statutory factors. G. Zachary Terwilliger, U.S. Attorney for the Eastern District of Virginia, John C. Demers, Assistant Attorney General for National Security, and Nancy McNamara, Assistant D Director in Charge of the FBI's Washington Field Office, made the announcement after the charges were unsealed. First Assistant U.S. Attorney Tracy Doherty McCormick, Assistant U.S. Attorneys Kellen S. Dwyer and such and such uh, of the Justice Department's National Security Division are prosecuting the case. The extradition will be handled by the DOJ's Office of International Affairs. Now, This Chelsea Manning garbage is, it's, it's all garbage, okay? So what we have here is the deep state working in the DOJ trying to arrest him, okay? On one count, 
of conspiracy of this. Okay. And they don't even have proof yet. Okay. But my guess, my professional opinion on this is what's going to happen is they're not going to find evidence. They're going to try and fabricate it, of course, just like they did with Trump. He, he might end up doing some time, but maybe the, the judge will say, well, you've already been holed up for there for six or seven years in the Ecuadorian embassy, uh, likened on to jail or worse. And then I believe Donald Trump is going to step in and pardon him. Now, here's some facts about your pardon. Okay, you go to the Department of Justice. Okay, you can go to the Department of Justice and let me just show you how to get to the pardon area real quick. Okay, if you just click on www.justice.gov, okay, then you go, you, you want to click on uh, alphabetical listing under our agency. Okay. You go down here to Office of Pardoning. It is huge down here. There it is. Office of Pardon Attorney. Okay. You got to click on that next. Okay. Then... Um, then you go to, you have to click on clemency recipients. Okay. So take note of what I'm telling you to do. Then you come up with all the pardons that were given by president Trump and from 2017 to president. And then there's also commutations, but pardons granted by president Barack Obama. You're going to be shocked when you look at this. Here are all the pardons that Donald Trump has given. And the mainstream media is reporting it like an onslaught of injustice. Look at this. And if you look at what they did too, it's amazing. Uh, one, we have one, two, three, four, five. Look at Dinesh D'Souza is one of them did nothing wrong. Six, that's it. That's it. Because none, and the first one is Sheriff Arpaio, Christian Mark Saucier, I. Lewis Libby, aka Scooter Libby, false statements, obstruction of justice, and then Dinesh D'Souza, who did nothing wrong but make a movie exposing Obama. Okay. Now take a look at Obama. You're going to see how wicked he was. Look at this. It's huge. And most of these people that were pardoned were pardoned for drugs and child trafficking, but mainly drugs. Just look at this list. And this is 2017. Remember, this is 2017. I don't know how many pages are here. This is huge. Okay, if you look at, uh, look at the massive crimes of all these people that he pardoned, showing how criminal his cabal was. It's just huge. Most of them are cocaine. And we all know that Obama was doing cocaine when he was getting oral sex from the man he murdered later that's right and that youtube video has been i think banned and thrown out because obama murdered him he had him murdered look at all these tons of cocaine people that were doing supposed to go to prison but he lets them go it's just over and over and remember we're in 2017 look at this huge list it's just huge It's massive. Okay, I don't, it doesn't say how many. It doesn't even number them. Okay, they're just huge. Okay, it's just gonna take you a long time to read through all this, right? Okay. This is 
It doesn't say 17 here, but here it says to January 2016, uh, 2016. Download clemency warrant. Um, I haven't gone into this huge, but um, this is just amazing how big this is. And now here it says download clemency warrant 2015. And here, look at this, 14. So basically, I guess you have to download in order to see it is so huge. This is, shows you how big the corruption Obama is compared to the mere six that Trump has pardoned. But if you remember correctly, in the Obama regime, the mainstream media never reported on all these people being pardoned. There must be thousands of people pardoned for major crimes by Obama. No wonder why you have all these holy weird freaks and all these people who hate God can't stand Trump because they know he stands for justice. The Trump hammer of justice is coming. It's getting worse and worse. And I believe that he is going to pardon very few people like Julian Assange. Your days are limited, Julian Assange. It will be over soon. Hang in there. Thank you for listening. Let me be serious with you. I would rather that you donate to my ministry directly. I cannot survive financially to keep this ministry and new service going without your help. And we all know their plans to shut me down again. But many of you would like to receive a gift or product as a token of my appreciation. And I don't blame you. Isn't it about time Uncle Sam started paying you instead of you paying him? It is about time. The federal government pays you your rent check. The government rents out thousands of buildings instead of uh, buying them every year. This is all funded by the current $11.1 .1 billion building fund in our budget. Get your free federal rent check today sign up with the federal millionaire information here down below become a shareholder to receive federal rent checks for life by making a one-time investment as a shareholder an IRS ruling declares this to be totally legal this is no joke no scam and been for many years the longer your name is on the distribution list, the larger your federal rent check grows. As inflation rises along with real estate, the government pays you more every year. Starting out as little as $1,800 a month would be your rent check. Wouldn't that be nice to receive every month a rent check like that? The federal government continues to raise your income as inflation rises. This puts an end to retiring with a fixed income that leaves you going broke as you get older. This will put a major dent in those people who hate their home taxes is going up every year, wouldn't it? And folks, the price for this valuable information will cost you only $39 a year or $79 for a two-year membership. Sign up today.